the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things He's done in our lives. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Love you. <laughs> so there I still. Yeah, my Lord, send me. <laughs> And are we, I still want to make sure, we, are we equating fruit for this as bringing souls into the kingdom? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a form of a, a, a fashion to increase. That, that's the that's that's God is set on increase. All right, all right, y'all. Right. I, ultimately, I will say uh, yes to that, but I think that, um, just by me yielding to him 100%, allowing him to to do what he, to live his life vicariously through me, yes, is sir. going to, is going to result in souls being saved. Yes, but, but there's no way I can be a witness and show the world him unless I give up myself and allow him to live his life through me Amen. so that the soul can be saved. So I would say, yeah, ultimately, it is about the soul. But for me, it's not about the soul. It's more about me. Uh, just increasing that he may increase so and then he'll produce this yeah so you're saying like at some point you're 30 percent out of the way some point you're 60 percent out of the way and then at some point you're 100 percent out of the way and then he's most fruitful at that point well, well, let me just say it this down. way and let me just say it this way and i'm not trying to indict anybody i'm not but but uh but uh I've met very few people that's 100 percent sold out for him. Now you're uh, that's just me. Now you're I'm just being honest. I'm just being honest now yeah, about, yeah, yeah. about yeah, what yeah. I do. And that's well, that, well, that's not really that's not really the issue. The issue is, and I know it's not, it's not. Is, but that was the question. Yeah, but my question to you this morning is, is that how many of us on this Zoom this morning are longing, are yearning, are panting, are fretting for 100 percent? hundred percent of the brain is gone. You're telling God in your prayer. Of yielding it. No, no, no. Of yielding it. Yeah, yielding it. God, don't leave yeah. me right there. Yeah. Not, not, not. Listen, do whatever you got to do in my life before it's too late to bring me into fruit. Right, so Jim, I heard you said, so what is dealing with you? Just allowing. Individual. Just allowing. Sorry, go ahead, Pastor. You mean, you saying individually, the 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 hundred the percentage of it you're giving to to God, right? Your life, right? That would just say that. Yeah, period. Oh, just yeah. me yeah. allowing not my life, but but not my will, but your will be done. Right. Just right. whatever you want to do through me, do it. I, I give up. I cease being me for from any aspect. And from I'm gonna allow you to be whatever you want to be, say how act a hundred percent. Right. Well I I I really can relate to what you're saying, Jimmy, because there's a parable of Myron Addison. Okay, okay, okay. okay. When I was on my <laughs> deathbed, a hundred percent of my life. All right, now preach. Was dedicated. Go on, preach. To focus in on God. Hey. We were like one, we were simpatico. Yes, sir. <laughs> From the time I woke up to the time uh, my eyes closed, I was in the Word. I was focused on God because I knew without a shadow of a doubt my life was in His hands. And there was nothing that yes, Myron sir. could do to exist outside of Him. But now, but now, the cares of this world. Come on now. There it is. The deceitfulness there. Come on now. Has there it is. Right there. <laughs> now. Has but we need to stay where you were. Yes, sir. I didn't even stay there. <laughs> that's the life of now, a just, Look, that's that's the parable of Myron Addison. Bearing fruit. Uh, no. uh, uh, or 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 actually not even the bearing the fruit is of the ground the ground right being accessible uh-huh to the store right you'd have done it you'd have done anything he said you'd have said anything, anything he wanted you to say anything, you'd have acted and any promised. Kind of way he wanted you and to look, act. 
and 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 made promises and 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 swore to God you would for now. Listen, come I, on I, now. I want to read you verse nineteen. Of uh, <laughs> what? Of uh, what? Mark chapter four says, and the cares of this world. Yes. yes. And the deceitfulness of riches. Yes. And the loss of other things. Of other things. What it did? What it do? Enter in. Enter in. Yes. Glory to God. That's and it. So, <laughs> so that that's why you got some thirty, some sixty, some hundred yeah. four. And, and you. that's what Thank I was you. saying. That's why Thank I you. still Thank you. I go back to saying that that ground was good ground. So, 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 what, Bishop, you, you muted a sudden, I can't hear you. Bishop, Bishop, my, my back to the side to make sure that not only me, but people who's listening or will listen, it, it seemed like it was too, there's a, there's a condition of the heart bearing or yielding the percentages that's being fruitful and then there's the soul winning so where, where are we here are we are we focusing on the souls coming in or are we focusing on the condition of each individual well I, 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 those are those are what saying. they want to right. say he's telling you listen he's telling you that when I when I think about verse 19, I, I think about people who genuinely hear the word, who have moved from stony ground, from, from wayside. I was the, I, I'm like like Mario. There was a time in my life I didn't want to hear nothing about no gospel. You witness to me, I, I just kind of tolerate you, but soon, soon as I walked away from you, I'm like, well, I hope I'll never see that jumper no more. Stony ground. I was just, I was concrete. I was I was no wasted. I was concrete. And this after coming to the body. Now. For the kingdom. But as time goes on, I believe, and this is the good thing. The good thing about the about the parable is that you don't have to stay that way. Amen. Okay. okay. That you over your lifetime, you are going to be hit with it and almost and, and you can't even count the people that God is gonna be dropping in on you. The television messages and the, the, the people who are witnessing the scenario you'll be in and the thing that will happen whereby God will be speaking to you. Always trying to get the plow in the ground. Always trying to break up the soil. Always trying to find a way mm -hmm. in. Because you do realize that even though you got concrete, that sometimes seeds can fall in the cracks of concrete. Yes, sir. Yes. I, and break yes, it yes, up. Sir. Seeds that, that seeds that got down in the crack that grew up. Yes, sir. God is responsible. He's obligated himself to always be about working in us and around us and through us and upon us to try to condition us so that we can get to the place where we got ears to hear. And that's why Jesus said it. Who's been conditioned to the place where they can hear? Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. So, so just to make sure clarification, Jimmy, the, I just want to make sure there's two different types of yielding we're dealing with here. There's souls, and then there's the condition of yourself bearing fruit. Well, I, I, like, I like it. Well, let me That's like it this way. The Bible, the Bible talks about uh, just like you talk about uh, talk about uh, um, seek ye first the kingdom of God, and these things should be given unto you. Should yeah. you could you should you focus on these things should be given unto you, or should you be focusing on seeking ye first the kingdom of God? You talking about souls, or you talking about yieldingness? Should we be focused on the souls or the yieldingness? I submit to you that if we focus on the yieldingness and we yield 100, percent the Amen. souls gonna take care of themselves. Yes, sir. Amen. Amen. Yes, sir. Amen. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And that's what he's trying to listen. You do realize that 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 when the seed is sown, in order for conception to happen, that seed. It's got to die. It got to die. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. To say, it got to die. And in this case, it is Christ who has been sown into your heart. And he mm -hmm. said, look here, in order for me to get out, I need for you to die. Yes, Amen. sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. But as long as you're still alive, I'm handcuffed, blindfolded, I'm gagged. I can't do nothing. But if I can get you to die, yes, then my life can be released. 
through you. Mm -hmm. Right. Now, it doesn't it say in one place where he says that he is the proof that my father is the husband man. The branch that does not produce, he will cut off and throw in the fire, but the one that does, he will prune that it might produce even more. That's why we just showed does, John 15. Doesn't That's the father, 15. doesn't the father himself actually take that on himself to prune us, to get us ready to, to make fun? Because there's a lot of things that we, we want to produce more food, but who's going to take themselves through the stuff that we have to go through to do it? He will. That pruning process is, that pruning process is quite painful. He said, oh, I, I, I'll, I'll do some additional conditioning on you, even yep. if you become fruitful. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. It ain't pleasant. We, but we, we need to focus to it. But yeah. He, he's talking about the people who's bearing fruit now. That he's we got to focus fruit. on dying. Yeah. We got to focus yes. on dying itself. Yeah, we got, to, go. we got yeah. to focus on dying itself. Yep. Period. It is self that no, is affected. It, 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 it is the self in me that's attracted to thorns. Yes, sir. Thorn. Is it the self of me that is attracted to the cares of this life and the pleasures of this world and the deceitfulness of riches? It's the yeah. self of me that get in the way. And yeah. when I hang around with other folk who got the same mind, when they get thorns among thorns, ain't nobody encouraging no fruitfulness. What they're trying to do is push you further into thornity. <laughs> well, true. That's we, we look. Need, you know, the one thing we did touch on. I got to look that one up. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, you know, you you got the root word. You got the root word. You know what he's talking about. <laughs> That's the 21st century word right there, though. <laughs> Look, you didn't get about that, that word soul. from flesh and blood. <laughs> on entity. When we talk about the soul, I mean, of course, we didn't mention it today, but we do understand that that's that mind, the will, and yeah, the emotions. That, 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 yeah. That's what that is. And so that is self, in my opinion, yeah. from a lot of perspective, because that's that's kind of that's kind of uh, my need to 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 exist and to be recognized and to be to be valued and to and, and those things <laughs> that uh, come up out of come out of uh, come up out of man. The Bible said these things, in my opinion, they're earthly. They're sensual and they're devilish. Yeah, yeah, That's devilish, devilish. Mm. Hey, and, and Bishop, you did ask the question. Did I look up the the uh, what or uh, should have looked up that understanding what a soul is? And I here's the concordance reading of uh, of the soul. I think he said a hundredfold, didn't he? Did he say hundredfold? Well, he, we, I was we was talking about the. Uh, you know, and it really goes back to your part about the yielding and we're talking about the ground. But I was asked the question, is it the what is it the ground, the soul, or the ground was actual souls of you know people? Uh, and and then I then he said, Did I look up what soul was? And and here to see concordance to it. And it basically said breath, that is by application spirit. Uh, and spirit is sometimes interchanged with heart. Uh, it, it it talks about the I get a bit of use abstract or concretely the animal sentient principles only uh, thus distinguishable on the one hand from which is rational ground and immortal immortal soul I thought you would I thought I thought I thought I thought I thought you talked about 36 and 90 you made the distinction that was 100% a uh, hundredfold over in, in Luke, and, and the question was, had you looked up hundredfold? Yeah, but maybe, I, was, I, missed it. Man, it, I, maybe I missed that. No, what I was saying in the beginning was, what was the sea sold into, what's the ground? Is the ground Yeah, I understand that, but I, I, thought, I thought he asked you, had you looked up hundredfold was what, I thought he, no, I didn't think no, he'd he ask you about soul. looking up the soul. Yeah, he, it was we looked soul. up the soul a thousand it times. It was a soul, was right, and I was trying to understand, are we, the hundred, the hundred percent, thirty percent, or whatever was about witnessing, bringing people into the body, or are these grounds? And I think we kind of talked about it here. The the soul is where you got thorny stones. Uh, oh, we talked about that real early, way early at the beginning, almost. Exactly right. So, yep. and I just he said, did I have a look up the word soul? And uh, I just want to make sure I did bring that in there. So, soul is a spirit, but the spirit the aspect of the man. Tell 
What are the verse number 12? Verse 12 is up there. I'm bringing up higher. You'll notice in this text, uh, you'll notice in this text that there are, there are three words that are used. For example, you have soul and spirit. Yeah. And then you have the thoughts and intents of the heart. Yes. Uh huh. So now you have soul, spirit, and heart. <coughs> All of these are addressing and pointing to the inner man. The inward man, yes, sir. Now, at that point, I said you will have to spend some time in coming to reconcile how these words are used in scripture and what they actually mean. Here we have spirit, soul, and heart. Mm -hmm. Now, in this parable, the word is soul in the heart. In the heart. In the heart. Right. Now, but but in this context, you see, there are there are thoughts and intents that are associated with the heart. Yeah. The heart is the place where thoughts and intent originate. If mm -hmm. I read this that correctly. The heart. Now, what now but so but so how does that now relate to the soul of man? And in this case, it is not talking about the Holy Spirit, it is talking about the spirit of man. The spirit of man. And and the only thing that's subject to go to the hell though, when we, when when the elder and I was talking, is the soul, right? The soul is the only thing that was in Matthew's 10, 28. It was saying is that fear not. So I'm saying that we try we're trying to save souls, right? From going to 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 hell, right? I mean that's is that what we're trying to do, right? That's 10, 28. Fear not them that kill the body, but are yes. able to kill the soul. Yes. And rather fear them that are able to destroy both soul and body in hell. Yes. So so our fruitfulness in, in making sure that I'm just making sure I and anybody else is keeping up or will listen to this. Fruitfulness is and I think Jimmy, you're saying there's two parts, right? There's one about the actual souls of man. That we're trying to bring that's into the production, kingdom, that's production, yeah. right? And then there's the condition of the heart or the yielding of the of the person that's, that's, given, right? So it's two pieces. They all they all required to come together. By uh, what? Uh, productivity and, and, and personal development, professional development. Yeah, yielding, yielding internal. Go ahead, Bishop. Yeah, he, he's rubbing his head. <laughs> he rubbing his head. Go ahead. What you like, saying, Bishop? All I'm saying is that is that it should be expected that you should model the thing that you're trying to sell to somebody else. Amen. Practice what you preach. Yes, sir. I mean, why are you gonna go out there and try to tell somebody else they ought to be foolish to render to God when you have caught? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Oh, oh no, they will not made our quota. <laughs> hey, hey, can I want to make sure there's not a quota we're looking for? It's a, it's a, really it's a surrendering, and then yeah. that'll take care of itself. So, like, years ago, I read a book uh, that talked about the spiritual man by Watchman Nee a long time ago. But, but what he what he seems to indicate to me is that when you look in scripture, when you hear the word heart, yeah, that what you need to understand that the heart is a way of speaking about soul and spirit collectively. Collectively, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Because it is a spiritual. You, you know, you're talking about the spirit of man, not spirit of God, right? Spirit of man. Yeah, you're talking about the spirit yeah. of man. They are trying well, thank you. When thank you. will be very specific in talking about the heart, that it will tell you which compartment it's talking about. Yeah, it will, right. It will tell you if it's talking about the soul or if it's talking about the spirit. Right. It's kind of like a house. If you send your child say go in the house and bring me the uh the stapler, uh you need to tell them what room it's in. Right. Yeah. Right. right. 
Uh, it ain't in the kitchen. It ain't in the kitchen. <laughs> there, there, was, there, was, there was one thing that Jimmy said several months back, and I think it helped me a little bit when he said it's just subconscious. It's, it's, it's an unreasoning portion of your being that just responding in accordance with what it actually is. If you believe something, that's not you sitting to think about believing it. You, you literally believe it or you don't. And I believe you that's- You programmed the, yourself. You're programmed. And so, and, and that's not a, that's not an extrapolation or, 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 or deducing or anything. It's just, that's it. And I think that's where we work on as far as our belief systems are concerned. We condition ourselves. We have to go through that process that causes us to condition ourselves. The one thing that I wanted to say though was, uh, if y'all don't mind taking a second, uh, remember we were talking about the spirit of man and the soul of man? Right. I remember the one scripture that talks about that the word of God was quicker than any two inches sharp, sharper, dividing the soul from the spirit. Is that That's, is that's, that's legit, that's that's legit that. right? Now, yeah, that's that's of, course, of course yeah. it is. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hebrew. Right. Yeah, and, and 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 that that was something that I needed some clarification on because I, well, I think that we are tripartition in the sense that we have a soul, we have a spirit. We literally have a spirit that was disconnected from the spirit of God, and we have our, our body. Yeah. So, so you can have your spirit. It's always had the ability to interface with the spirit realm, but it just wasn't it wasn't interfacing with the spirit of God. It wasn't until we were born again that we interface with the Spirit of God on a spiritual level. Did we're, that connect, we're connected with the Holy Spirit, right? We connect connected. with the Holy right. Spirit when we Well, we're that, that, that's not a true statement because God is speaking to those who are not connected. Right. Well, he just through those the who are. So right. yeah, if God he, pulls he, he you from them. pardon. He's not controlling them, though. No, he's, he's not, not controlling. He, he's not. He's not controlling us. Yes, he is. Who are who are that's, it? But unless, that's a yield. That's a yield. Unless he was talking we about. yield yeah, ourselves to. Well, I'm just saying. But ultimately, what he's seeking is control. Yes. He has. Yes, to take it. Yes, you have sir. to give it to him. Yes. yes. You but as yield. far as this 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 soul and the spirit, we were created souls living souls and then no living souls not until god breathed living into, soul, right. after he breathed into man they became a living soul so right. right so we, all, we were just souls prior to wait wait wait, wait. what verse uh -huh. is that what verse? That's in genesis. Genesis. Hey, that genesis yeah, yeah genesis. but that wasn't so what he's saying is he asked the question why would you say there was a soul first before God breathed into him? I think it was because just God created man, and when He breathed into him, He became a living soul. But He was not a soul until that happened. Right? Well, so He wasn't a soul until that happened, right? You skate no ten eyes now. Yeah, He was. Well, I'm gonna tell you now. But hold right on, now. let me let me Come on. let me finish. Come on, because well, let's go back to the scripture. Yeah, go back and it's because, hold on. Where how can we be alive living if we're not connected to God? You and want you want to go back to the scripture. Come on here now. Yeah, go ahead. Brad has to read it from there. It's two seven. What, what verse are you talking about? He only can talk about two seven, so two uh, seven. And the Lord God formed man of the dust right. of the ground. Yeah, Stop, right. Right there. Yeah, Stop right there. Stop right there. Stop right there. What you got? Nothing. You got nothing lie. but a form of dirt. <laughs> nothing but a form of freaking dirt. <laughs> you see, brother, that's, that's a body. That's a body. Okay. Next, keep reading. And breathed into his nostrils the he breath of life, and, uh -huh. and man became a living soul. Right. So, so he wasn't exactly. a soul before that. He was a soul. Okay. So my okay. thing is, you 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 you're correct. The next part, the living, next part implies. See the see the, if you read the next part of the verse, it would imply that before he breathed, the thing was dead because yeah, there is no life. Exactly. Yeah. No, you're you're correct. Okay. So 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 but now so with that in mind, though, I do want to talk about this attack then on. 
the in that parable, because going back to the parable, this attack is, and I'm talking about the attack of what the Satan uses to uh, bring in these cares of the world. Jimmy, I think these are the attacks toward the soul, then, right? This is a he uses these tools, the lust, the the the, 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 uh, the thorns, the offense, all that is attack on the soul, isn't it? Well, but, but if you if you think seriously about the parable, you do realize that even now, this morning, uh -huh. on April the 25th at 10, 14 a.m. Yes, sir. I, I surrendered my life to God on March the 30th, on March the 20th, 1983. Yes, sir. I sit in this room this morning and I testify to you that, that I still live in a body that is corrupted by sin. Guaranteed. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And every day of my life, I am expected to acknowledge and confess that I have been crucified with Christ. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. Uh, In order that the body of sin might be rendered what the scripture called inoperative, that is what the word destroyed means. Okay. That the body of sin might be destroyed doesn't mean that it ceased to exist. It means that it is rendered inoperative. Always it means that the lawnmower still got gas oh, and it's spark plugs and everything, but it is not allowed to crank. Mm. Mm. Are oh, you with me? Oh, yeah. Always <laughs> saying about anybody that dies in the Lord Jesus. Oh, that his no, life no. may be made manifest in your mortal body. That is why I have to take up my cross daily. Daily. Uh -huh. Right? And follow him. Man, that's, right. that's, that's, so, so thorns, thorniness is always a threat but but then this also a liberation too because that's what i'm saying because it's in, if you acknowledge you're dying uh when we experience his death then we will live in the power of his resurrection so what i find is we can't walk after the spirit we live in the spirit of the resurrected spirit of the lord jesus christ and therein i think we find ourselves exercising authority over the stuff like sickness and death and and we we're able, we're empowered at that point to actually exercise those things that you spoke of for the signs of concern. Because as long as we're attached to the cardinal flesh, man, we're dead. But where's well, here's, here's, here's the here's problem, though? <clears throat> if, you, if you conceive of this thing wrong, <clears throat> if you get the understanding of the thing wrong, you'll get wrong results. See, there if you, you think that death is a one-time thing, you're going to be in trouble. Mm -hmm. Definitely. Because this death ain't a one-time death it's an ongoing death yeah paul said that go. daily paul it's a dying every day death yeah. right it's a, it's a it's the death that has been deposited in christ and you expect to make withdrawals every day yeah. i promise you daily is not often enough <laughs> so, 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 so moment we, by moment huh <laughs> so when we think uh, i he promise was, you he was sold through the flesh and walked after the flesh that, that's death, right? To be carnal minded. You still die. Dead. Yes. But to be spirit minded. It's corruption. Yes. You sold to the flesh of love, flesh of corruption. You sold to the spirit of spirit, life everlasting. And that's a moment by moment situation. Yeah. There so is you, no, you, no you, power. You. There's no power in carnality, man. Who would want it? I mean, but after it, some point, you know, you don't want it no more because it, 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 it kills you. But the, I guess the question, though, in reference to the parable, are those things that the devil used in Jesus' explanation, are those attacks on the soul or on the flesh? I know it's not oh. an attack on the spirit. Both. It's an attack on the soul from, from, the, from the spirit. Okay, from the spirit. Through the body. Through the body. To get at the soul. Yes, 